All right, I'm going to do a quickie version here for what happened. So uh, I think I was banned from the uh, Palmetto State Armory AK Owners Facebook group for a comment that I had made uh, trying to address an issue that a new member was having with his rifle. So uh, the new member in particular, I don't remember his name, but uh, he was having an issue with the bolt uh, not cycling correctly. So uh, when he had the magazine in the gun, the bolt would not cycle properly, it would short stroke. So the, the spent case would get ejected, but the bolt would not pick up the next round. So he says, what's going on with this? Can I get some advice? So I said, okay, um, there's a few things that could be wrong with it. First thing, and I, and so my comment was, uh, knowing PSA, there may be a factory mechanical defect or it may have a break-in period. It could be your magazine, although considering that's the magazine that's shipped with the gun, I would expect that magazine to work. Um, or it could be end user problem, which is improper maintenance. Maybe he didn't clean and lube the gun properly before he went out and shot it. This is a very common thing that new gun owners do and I wish they wouldn't. So. Uh, so I made that comment, and this was not in any way meant to be a, um, I'm attacking PSA, and I'm saying they're shit and they're awful, and blah, blah, blah. But the uh, the admin of the group, who I think is either their marketing or gunsmith guy, uh, comes in there and asks me, he says, what do you mean by knowing PSA and having a break-in period, right? So I replied to him, I said, um, there are some people in the gun community who believe that guns have break-in periods, and there are some that don't. But... Considering my experience with PSA products all across the board, at least for what I have, um, the quality control ranges immensely. It varies a lot. You can have PSA products that work great, work just fine. You can have PSA products that work just okay, they work fine. And then you can have PSA products that don't work at all. Namely, I guess, what the problem that this guy was having. And I said this, in a, like I said, in a non-accusatory, non-inflammatory way. And I said, look, when, when you are selling guns at this rate, at this price, there is something in there that has to give. And that something is the quality control consistency from PSA. Um, you know, or quality of materials used, quality of craftsmanship, something in there has to give. I feel like it's quality control given my experience with the PSA products that I've seen, uh, owned, operated. So, uh, from that point on, I, uh, I could not see the group. He, I'm, I'm assuming he banned me. And uh, yeah, it, it, that's kind of that's kind of what happened. So it feels like it's pretty bad optics uh, if you ask me to just outright ban me like that when I, I think I am coming across saying something that is probably pretty true. And he, if, he, if he wanted to come to me and, and, and tell me how it is and correct me because I don't have all of the, the, the workings, the, uh, the knowledge for PSA's inner workings and how they do stuff. I don't. Uh, so if he wanted to correct me and tell me, hey, that's not how it is, man. Like, hey, this is how it actually works. I would have been totally cool with that. That's fine, dude. Like, I want to learn more. I want to see how all this stuff works. Um, you know, so the rest of the customer base can see too. You know, maybe, it, it, maybe PSA actually is a bunch of good old guys working in a, you know, their factory or whatever, making good products for good Americans like you and me. But... Um, I really feel like it is a quality control issue because, uh, like I said, of all the previous examples of PSA products that I've had before. So um, and I won't get into the uh, exact specifics in this video. I'll have another video for that. But uh, yeah, that's basically what happened. And um, I'm not very impressed by the response at all. I'm not. So it, it, it seems kind of like childish, not good optics for their company, uh, no pun intended. So, um, you know, I, I don't come out there with the intention to say that PSA is absolute garbage, but then when they pull stuff like this, it's kind of hard to uh, to recommend them or, or see them in a good light. And word of mouth definitely still matters these days. So um, at this point, I can't really recommend PSA products. Not after this, not after what I've seen, not after the products that I've gotten. Um, it just, maybe other people's experiences are better, but the fact that I've had all of these bad, bad experiences of the stuff that I have, and some people have had great experiences. It kind of, I'm more willing to bet on my gut intuition that the issue with PSA is their quality control and consistency of it. So, um, yeah, that's the short version of what happened. I'll have another video of like a, a little bit longer kind of getting into it. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. So, yeah.